He's lied about everything else. Not everything. Those cards that he sent pretending he was being bullied at school. This is different. This is about somebody being killed. Yeah, but it's still David. Yeah, so he can't be trusted. What I'm saying, and why this is different, is if these are lies, they're lies he's going to have to tell to the police. And after that, to a judge and jury. And you think he wouldn't? Sarah, credit him with some normal human emotions. Well, maybe right. But you still should talk to him. Yes, and I intend to do that. Do you know, he could be done with perjury and locked up. And I'll make sure he knows that. On the other hand, if he is telling the truth... Then it would prove everything Tracy's been saying. Yeah, but why is he saying it now? Why didn't he just say it straight away? Well, maybe he was frightened to. And who wouldn't be to see a fight and someone killed? Hey, do you want me to talk to him? No, I'll do it. Look, that's all. Well, I don't think you should, do you? Well, I don't think Charlie's going to object, is he? Don't be clever, David. Come back over here. We've got something to talk about. Yeah? OK. Now we're out in back. Why? Well, I have to have a reason to go in my own back garden now. Why were you out there? Just kicking a ball around. It went over the fence, like it does, and I hopped over to go get it. Go on. And then I heard him shouting. Both of them? I think so, yeah. Shouting what? I don't know. Only it made me go and have a look. That's when I see him with a knife and he's going after her with it. That's it. And that's the truth? Yeah, the whole truth and nothing but. David, do you realise... How serious it is, yes. And what happens next? Like what? Well, we have to go to the police. And there's going to be plenty of questions that they want to ask you. And they're going to keep on asking you until they know that you're telling the truth. And then you're going to have to stand up in court. And there's going to be a judge and a jury and barristers trying to catch you out. And all of it. Everything you say will be all over the newspapers. So please, David, if it's not true, tell me. You know, I knew you wouldn't believe me. David, I was hoping and praying that this would be a lie. I still am. I don't want you involved. I don't want you to have to stand up in court because I know what a terrible experience it's going to be for you. I don't want you to have to go through it. Please, David. Tell me it's a lie. Even if it isn't, you'd rather I'd lied to you and tell you it was. Well, I could hear them arguing. Could you hear what they were arguing about? No. But they were getting louder and louder. And I could tell it were getting nasty. Next thing I know, Charlie's come through to the kitchen and he's rooting in this drawer. And I heard loads of knives and forks and stuff fall onto the floor. He bends down. And when he stands up again, he's holding this knife in his hand. And then he went through to the front room, and then that's when he shouted, I'll kill you, you bitch, and Tracy screamed. There was a bit of a struggle, and then it all went quiet. Quiet? Yeah. You didn't hear anything? No. Apart from music, they had some music on. Why have you never mentioned any of this before? Well, because I was scared when I gave my first statement. 